What is going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? It's the Knights of Horror back with a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Not Scary Farm 2018, what I thought of the event, my official review of the event, and if you guys should go. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So today we're talking about Not Scary Farm 2018. I recently just went this past weekend as of this recording and I had an amazing time. Not Scary Farm is an event that goes on in uh, Southern California at, uh, of course, Knott's Berry Farm, which is a Cedar Fair Park. And they've been, I think they've been actually doing haunts, like they're one of the first people who've actually started haunts. So um, yeah, Not Scary Farm has been around for so long uh, and I had an incredible time. I went with a bunch of friends. Sadly, I, get, I got no content at the event, but I want to share with you what I officially thought of the event, which mazes you should go through, maybe a game plan of some sort if you guys decide to go to the event if you're in the SoCal area. So without further ado, let's start off with my official review and I'm going to give this honestly event a nice solid 9 out of 10 because I just very much enjoyed myself. I started off the night uh, by myself, uh, I, I showed up really early, I got there at 5 o'clock um, just so I could do the rope drop and watch the opening ceremony and it was pretty cool. I was in the very front and they let the rope drop and of course uh, the if you go to Knott's Berry Farm in Ghost Town uh, they have what is uh, known as Fog Alley which is just covered with fog and it's hard to walk through or see through anything of that whole alley so that was covered with fog and the monsters slowly come out and it looked really really cool uh, and then I ran all the way into the back where the first maze I did of the night was called Special Ops Infected where you do get a gun and it's an interactive maze so you get to shoot zombies and it honestly if you're a Black Ops fan and you love the zombies uh, gameplay and stuff like that I highly suggest you walk through this maze because this maze is honestly bringing that to life and I very much enjoyed myself right after that I went to the Red Barn which I had kind of new uh, a facade this year and a new twist and a new um, a couple of new things this year they had an announcer in the beginning who was actually the uh, supposed to be like the father of the family and stuff like that which was really cool this was kind of like a, a, an original they're all original mazes and this one uh, the red barn is about a cannibal family who believes in like a saw almost kind of like Leatherface in a way but uh Nonetheless, it was such a good maze. Um, we had a funny moment that happened at this maze with my group when I went through it a second time, which was uh, <laughs> I have a friend named Angela, and we went with, uh, of course, her, her brother, um, her cousin, her boyfriend, um, and her other cousin, and then her two, and her mom and dad, who are down to earth people, really fun people to be around, and. <laughs> The, her, her dad asked uh, the announcer to say happy birthday to Angela, which he then replied happy birthday to Angelo, and it was by far one of the funniest things of the night. But Red Barn was really fun, uh, interactive maze, you get to see a lot of the uh, uh, twisted and uh, demented stuff that this family does to their victims, and it was really good. Um, from there, I went to Shadowlands, which was a ninja-inspired maze about the uh, about a rogue ninja who's going around killing people and stuff like that, which was really fun. It had a new intro to it, which was the Suicide Forest, famous in Japan, which was really cool to walk through and stuff like that. That maze got me a couple times, and I gotta be honest, it was a really good one. So, Shadowlands was really good. From Shadowlands, I went to Dark Ride, which was one of my favorites last year at the event, and this year it did not disappoint again. Um, and I really enjoyed going through Dark Ride. Uh, a lot of good scares in there a lot of good uh, characters and stuff like that so I really enjoyed the dark ride uh, right after dark ride I met up with the group and uh, then we went through a couple mazes again um, which I went through of course dark ride again then I went through uh, uh, Red Barn again and then the special ops again so I did those three mazes twice and I don't regret it because it was fun um, and then after that we watched The Hanging which is a show they do at the event where uh, every year it's a parody show so they parodize a lot of the stuff that went on throughout the year and uh, they hang someone who is guilty and who deserves to be hung for his crimes against humanity in a way uh, this year they actually hung Logan Paul and I thought that was hilarious because of how he likes to film people uh, you know, the, like the whole Japan thing that he did and they made fun of him for filming people trying to hang people and stuff like that. So it was cool to see uh, that show and it was very funny, very entertaining, enjoyed every year. 
Um, then I did, of course, the two new mazes. I didn't do three of the mazes, which was Pumpkin Eater, uh, Trick or Treat Lights Out, and uh, Paranormal Ink, which I've done in the past. They're basically the same mazes. They don't really change them. The other thing about Knots is they're not new. There's not new mazes every year. They like keep them for like three or four years, and then they change them. Or sometimes they'll change like an intro or something like that. But nonetheless, uh, I didn't go through those three mazes because I already kind of knew what happens uh, in those mazes. Not saying they're bad mazes. They're all really good mazes. I just I didn't go through them because the group I was with didn't really want to. But I went through the two new ones, which was the Depths and Dark Entities. And I had an amazing time. The Depths was awesome. It was brought two of my favorite things to live sci-fi and horror, which uh, they mixed a lot of uh, creatures with humans. That was cool. You got to see... Um, Davy Jones and stuff like that, which was really cool. Um, you got to see a lot of these. The, one of the coolest effects they had in there was they had these like green laser lights, and there was fog everywhere, so it made it look like you were in water. And the uh, characters would slowly come up and look like they were coming out of water and scare you, which was a fantastic effect. Nonetheless, though, this maze was probably one of the best mazes I've ever walked through ever because not only did it have stuff like that, but it had an effect where when you were walking through it, you saw. Um, you felt the, sh the boat that you were in rock, which was a really cool effect to feel. And at the very end, they had a giant mutated shark pop out of you, which I thought was really cool. And Dark Entities was also a very good maze. It was like Alien meets the Thing, and I really enjoyed it. Walking through it, it had a lot of parts that kind of got me, and it kind of was like, oh shit, this is pretty scary. And um, the Alien itself was really cool. The people getting mutated by the Alien looked really cool. and. I really enjoyed myself in this maze. Um, as far as scare zones go, the scare zones were also fantastic. I went through the, of course, Carnival, um, the new one, which was, I believe, called... It was like a swamp theme one. I forgot the name of it, but it was fantastic. Um, then they had, of course, the Ghost Town one, which was always an original and it's always good. And, of course, they had the one with the scarecrows and stuff like that. So, I really enjoyed myself. I highly suggest you go to Not Scary Farm 2018. Um, if I can give you any time and game plan to go there, I would hit all the stuff in the back. Special Ops being the first maze you hit because that maze and previous series have gotten up to close to three hours long. Um, save all the front stuff for last because that's where everyone's usually going to go. Even when you go at the end... Uh, you know, if you save those for last, they're still going to be a long wait, but they won't be as long as when you do all the stuff in the back. Um, as far as my plan, I did Special Ops first. It uh, was like one of the first groups that walked in. Uh, and honestly, like, it was, you know, I had fun and stuff like that. Then I went to Red Barn, walked right into that. Walked all the way to Shadowlands, walked right into that. Then walked into Dark Ride, walked into that. Um, and yeah, if you do all those, honestly, you will wait nothing. You'll walk right in. You can even do probably them twice at the night. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Go check out Not Scared from 2018. Highly suggest it. And I cannot wait to go back to 2019's event. Uh, hopefully with some footage for next year as well. Maybe press. Hopefully press. That'd be awesome. But thanks, guys, for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Leave comments below what you guys think of Not Scary Farm 2018 if you guys live in the SoCal area and you've been to the event. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.